Hi guys, it's Sterling Spectre here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to mine Ethereum on Windows 10 in 2022. Real quick before the video starts, I want to mention I have opened a Discord server to help you guys with mining problems. So if any of these steps in the video aren't clear or you can't get it to work, then join the Discord and I'll help you guys out. The link for that is in the description below. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more content like this. So now let's get into how to mine Ethereum. First thing you want to do is get a wallet address to send the Ethereum into. Pretty much any crypto wallet will hold Ethereum. You can download the native Ethereum wallet or you can use browser wallets. I found the easiest way to get a wallet address is by getting one from a crypto exchange such as Binance or Coinbase. This is a really easy process so let's go through that now. So I'm going to be using Binance as I find it's the easiest. All you want to do is log into Binance, then head to your wallet. Next, click on the Fiat and Spot tab. Once here, you want to type Ethereum into the search bar here. Once the Ethereum coin shows up, you want to click on Deposit button and generate a wallet address. This will auto-generate a wallet address for you, and this is specific to you so you can use it to send or receive Ethereum. Now we have our address, we want to download a miner. There are so many miners out there that you can use, they all work in somewhat the same way, but today I'm going to be using T-Rex Miner. T-Rex Miner offers a lot of extra features that I find work really well. They also include an LHR unlock for the 30 series cards, and for the setup of those cards is easy. T-Rex normally detects LHR unlocker and will run it on your GPUs if they are LHR. So to download the miner, just type in T-Rex Miner into Google, and the GitHub will show up. From there, you can download the latest version and you also read about what is in the new release of the miner. You'll want to allow T-Rex Miner through your firewall. This is standard for all mining programs and Windows has to block programs that utilize the command prompt. So allow that through your firewall and unzip the folder. Now, if we open this folder up, it will give us various different batch files, which can be used to mine different coins. Now, the last thing to do to set up is to choose a mining pool. Mining pools are a place where you team up with other miners to mine Ethereum or whatever coin you want to mine. There are hundreds of mining pools to choose from, but today I'm going to be using two miners. This is because they have a good payout system and are easy to use. So if we head over to the two miners website, then we can click on the Ethereum tab down here and click on the quick start button. This will bring us to a page that shows us the servers to mine to. As you can see, there are three servers around the world for Ethereum. Now we have all of that open, we'll want to set up the miner file. So if we head back into T-Rex Miner, we'll want to look for a file named Ethereum 2 Miners. From here, we want to right click and edit the file. A Windows pop-up will show, but you'll have to just run the file anyway. Now we have to change some things in this command line text. So firstly, we want to edit the server. This one is set to Europe automatically, but if you're in the US or Asia, you'll want to copy the server from the two miners website right here and paste it over this text in the miner file like this. Next, you want to head back over to Binance to get our wallet address. Copy this address and paste it over the wallet address in the file like this. Lastly, you can set a password by here and a worker name. Now exit the file and save it and you should be ready to start mining. Now click the miner file and it should start mining for you. You'll know if it's working as it will confirm a share in the miner, as seen here. As mentioned, if it doesn't work, then join the Discord and I'll try help you guys out. So after you've set that up, you and started mining, you want to now track your progress. To do this, just head over to the two miners website and paste your address into the search bar at the top of the page. It will then bring you to a dashboard where you can track your progress while mining and also see when you are getting your payouts. So if you want to change your payout threshold, all you have to do is go over to the account settings tab. From here, you'll need to input your IP address for your worker and it will allow you to change your payout amount. Now, Ethereum has high gas prices, which can cost a lot when it comes to payouts. However, if you want to eliminate these fees, you can get your payouts in Bitcoin or Nano. To do this, all you have to do is go back into your miner file and edit the address to a Bitcoin address or a Nano address, and it will pay out into these coins with less fees than Ethereum. 
Now, if your miner isn't getting a good hash rate, you can also choose to overclock your GPU. You can do this by easily downloading programs such as MSI Afterburner. I have a video on my channel that goes over how to properly overclock your GPU. I will link that down below if you guys want to learn more about that and how to earn more out of mining. Lastly, let's look at the profitability of Ethereum at the moment. So I'm going to do this based off hash rate. I'm going to start with 20 mega hash and work my way up from there. So if you have 20 mega hash on your rig, you'll earn around 75 cents a day. If you have 50 mega hash, you can expect around $2 a day. If you have 75 mega hash, you can expect around $2.80 a day. For 100 mega hash, you can expect around $3.80 a day. And lastly, if you have 200 mega hash, you can expect around $7.60 a day. So depending on how much hash rate you have, you could be mining around $5 a day with a newer GPU and around $2.50 with an older GPU. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them the best I can.